Now, I know when I shot this book, I did do this on a young model, so this is beautiful Chloe, but anyway, it's very similar. You need to, if you look at this shot here, this is from my book, page 159. Um, yes, you can take the lipstick all the way to the ends. It's not always my favorite trick. I'm all about moving um, that shade in. So what you need to do is when the lips are closed, have a look for any creases that follow on from the lips. Now for me, I've got creases out to about here. So what you want to do is you want to look at the lip and go, right, where does it start to crease and go a bit south? So normally you move your fingers in to where the lip looks the most youthful and that's where you take your lipstick. And you can see in that picture, even on someone young, a smaller lip looks to me more feminine and more youthful. And as a makeup artist, I always say to assistants or team members, if you're doing a red lip, lift it up, have a look. If you don't like it, you can always extend it down.